Neurogress presents Internet of Things or Internet of Thoughts. The Internet of Things, commonly known as the IoT, is exploding. Companies are scrambling to get involved in this rapidly expanding technological field. Just as quickly, cybersecurity experts are voicing their concerns as we're flooded with news about bot attacks and vulnerabilities now incredibly glaring in the wake of the interconnected network IoT promises. The Internet of Things is based on the principle that the Internet can be for much more than just our computers and smartphones. We can already see more and more devices going online, and the IoT promises to bring everything from your microwave to your TV set on one network. While the IoT is certainly exciting enough, there are implications that reach even further into a different, also rapidly growing field, neurotechnology, bringing ourselves online. With neurocontrolled devices, we would be able to take our thoughts into the real world if those devices in turn were connected to the Internet and to each other through the web of the IoT. We're doing more than just using our thoughts to interact with the world around us. We could control vast IoT networks. Imagine the prospect of being able to turn up your air conditioning with the fleeting thought that you're too warm. That AC, in turn moved by your thought, would broadcast that information throughout your house. Your fridge could spend a bit less work and less electricity, knowing that the temperature is going down. And your covers could switch on to warm up your bed, so you'll stay cozy if you get tired. This futuristic image feels far out of our reach, but the conversion of neurocontrolled devices and the far-reaching implications of the IoT, an interconnected world, could mean this house and these possibilities aren't too far-fetched after all. Hacking the brain. Even as incredible possibilities appear on the horizon, there's one glaring problem slowly growing in scope. Security. We're already facing the possible ramifications of having everything we own online. Cars can be hacked, personal information stolen, and your at-home safety threatened by the strokes of a keyboard. If your brain were part of the network, those security threats would suddenly become all the more concerning. We are possibly reaching the point where it's not just our computers or our devices that we need to firewall for, it's our very thoughts. Thoughts are things. There's no underestimating the power of the brain. Even within its limited scope, it can accomplish incredible things. Now that we face a future where those limitations are removed, it's both overwhelming and almost frightening. As we break forward into unknown territory, companies like Neurogress are already working with multiple fields to consider the implications that groundbreaking technology has. Neurogress, not limited to the field of neurocontrol, explores innovations with IoT and other rapidly growing innovations. At some point in the future, doctors may be performing surgeries from the comfort of their homes precisely and accurately with nothing more than a thought. But at the moment, we're left to only imagine the possibilities. What are the implications of a connected world where our brains are online along with our smartphones and microwaves? How are you seeing these innovative ideas already being played out in reality? Amazon's Alexa and Google's Google Home come to mind. What would you like to control with your thoughts? Can you imagine the disappearance of switches, for example, just by thinking about turning on a light? You were listening to a Neurogress production. Invest in the interactive mind control devices of the future by buying tokens now. Visit neurogress.io.